وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا My brothers and sisters in Islam, this is a very important video. I have with me my brother Shefni from TIC, Toronto Islamic Center in Canada. Nowadays, you see the victims being called the aggressors and the aggressors playing the victim. Subhanallah, if we look at the crimes committed against Muslims, in the US, in Canada, we see Islamophobia, we see Muslims being targeted just for being Muslims. We see in Chicago, Illinois, a six-year-old child stabbed 26 times by their own landlord in front of his mother. His mother was also stabbed. A six-year-old child, Palestinian Muslim American child, was killed. And the man is charged with a hate crime. This was racially motivated against Muslims and Arab. Now you see the same thing in, in Texas. You see a Muslim woman who was stabbed to death, a pediatrician who had children. She was a doctor, she was helping people, she was killed. And we have our own incident that happened in Canada, in the Toronto Islamic Center. We had an Islamophobic attack. Now, obviously until the charges are confirmed, we can't say allegedly, but we got CT footage. The man was yelling out that he's an Israeli. He was yelling racial slurs against Muslims. Tell us a little bit about what happened. So on uh, one night on Saturday, uh, we were praying. Uh, the brothers just finished praying Fajr. And uh, maybe 10 minutes after Salah, they heard some banging on the windows, the doors. Um, so this masjid is in a very public area. Um, and so we are used to different people with their different uh, ways of expressing themselves. So we just thought someone banged the window and things. So, we were instructed by um, police to inform them, uh, call a non-emergency line. Um, so we called the non-emergency line. And so while that's happening, some of the brothers, they went outside um, and uh, they seen a guy on a bike. Hmm. Uh, he rode past them, s said some slurs, spat in their direction and continued on their way. Racial slurs, homophobic slurs. So he said things like, um, so for, for some reason he said, you Arabs, we're going to finish you. Um, that, that's a hate crime. I mean, that, that's pretty yeah. hate motivated. Yeah, and then, uh, and so the spitting as well, for some reason spitting, I remember the police, he was mentioning that spitting is something that they, spitting at someone. Hmm. Um, uh, they look at when it, it kind of determines the motive behind hmm. things. Um, but Swala, I, I, we wish that was the only thing he did. Um, he ended up, uh, so the brothers were waiting outside, just after Salah, some of the brothers like to congregate, like many masajid, and um, he came back again with a huge rock mm. and hurled it at one of the brothers. We actually have CT footage of this, right? Yeah, yeah so there's CCTV footage let's, of this. Let's watch some of that footage. So we see it very clearly. It, it, it was a targeted attack against a masjid. I mean, we see him come back, throw a rock, try to injure people, mm -hmm. say things. Why is this not on CNN or Fox or BBC? Why? I mean, imagine if at the same time, mm -hmm. a Muslim had gone to a synagogue, called them anti-Semitic names, threw a rock at them, kicked it, came back, made those kinds of threat. What do you think the, the media coverage would be? You know, uh, that, someone would not have to go through all, you know, he, we didn't even have to throw a rock in order for it to get covers like mm -hmm. that. But, uh, you know, subhanAllah, like, you know, for me, though, what was really surprising was when the police ended up eventually getting there, um, he kept yelling that he was Israeli, mm -hmm. as if this was going to be a defense against him. And you'll see that when he's asked... Um, do we have recordings of that? Yeah, there are recordings. Let's watch them. Because I'm Israeli! I'm Israeli! Israeli. Israeli. You guys stand I'm back! I'm Israeli! I need to leave because I'm Israeli. So you can see... So, so the man's Israeli, yelling at you, you Arab, we're going to finish you, throwing a rock, 
kicking, hitting the masjid. But that's not the first time this man had done it, right? No, so subhanAllah, you know. And alhamdulillah, no one was as harmed as the other incidences. So we had one, uh, so early in the morning, uh, he goes up to a Muslim taxi driver, asks him, are you Muslim? Mm. The brother confirmed he's Muslim, one of the uncles, and, and then he sprays him. And these police said it and, uh, a substance they were not clear like what it was. Like pepper spray or some kind of chemical spray. Allah knows best, yeah, I mean. So he attacked, first he confirmed, are you Muslim, and then attacked him. Yeah, and then after that, uh, later on in the... Uh, couple hours later then he goes up to a sister oh, to a woman yeah to one of our sisters and um, he he says you know he says some abuse to her was she was, apparently Muslim like yeah, she was very she was muhajjaba she Masha. was clearly Muslim and uh, and she was attacked as well same thing with the spray mm. you know uh, Toronto police say this mosque was not the only target that in separate incidents 28 year old Chandler Marshall attacked a cab driver and a woman wearing a hijab both were insulted, then sprayed in the face with an unknown substance. He's now facing 17 hate-motivated charges. Alhamdulillah, like the thing is, we didn't know. Uh, he, um, we didn't know that he did all. This is just also a random guy. Hmm. But we did feel that when he went on his bike, because the thing was, after he threw the rock, he he fled, and some of the brothers felt that he was going to come back again. Hmm. So we ran after him. We looked after hmm. him, and Alhamdulillah, the brothers were able to get him, restrain him. Um, till the police finally arrived, but after a very long time, hmm. um, you know, I'm just very grateful that no one was harmed. And and the the cowardly thing is, and you as you seen from the footage, all the brothers are facing away from the street. Hmm. You know, kind of find a way to get us from behind. Hmm. And so uh, it just speaks to how how this person is and and what he stands for. So now he's been arrested and he's been charged with seventeen charges or something. Yeah, around seventeen charges. So what's interesting is I also noticed that when he was arrested, uh, he broke the cop car window. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so what's interesting to me is that. You look at all the Islamophobic attacks that have been going on, but this one's very interesting because the man, you can clearly hear him say, I'm Israeli. Yes, I'm Israeli! I'm Israeli! Israeli. Perfect. Guys, stand I'm back! I'm Israeli! I need to leave because I'm Israeli. And then you see CT footage of him attacking the masjid particularly, calling out people for being Muslim, assuming they're Arab, and this is really not made media coverage. Mm -hmm. I don't, so we hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this type of video will raise awareness of all that that's going against Muslims. We know the atrocities that are happening in Gaza, but even in America, in Canada, we see these kinds of hate crimes being carried out against Muslims, and then Muslims are the ones being blamed. You know, mm -hmm. Muslims are being told in different university campuses and stuff that you're not going to get a job if you support Palestine, all those kinds of things. When people like this, understanding that system would even say I'm Israeli, thinking that's going to get them out of you and being arrested from committing hate crimes, serial hate crimes, because he attacked the brother, he attacked the sister, he attacked the masjid. And subhanAllah, until I spoke to you, I had no idea this happened. I didn't see it on BBC, I didn't see it on Fox, I didn't see it on CNN, I didn't see it on MSNBC, I didn't see it on NPR. None of the major networks around the world have taken this up. Mm -hmm. But alhamdulillah that Allah protected you brothers and protected the masjid and we ask Allah to protect you. And we ask Allah to guide this man. You know, we want good for everybody. We don't want people to take the law into their own hand. We condemn people carrying out racially motivated attacks against anybody. But it's very interesting that when it's against Muslims, that media coverage is not there. And that's the thing, Sheikh, I wanted to highlight as well. Like, you know, there are some places that are that are no go zones. Places of worship are identifiably, you know, if if you like attacking a, a convenience store is different than attacking like a, a full-on like a, a masjid or even a, a synagogue or whatever. Um, however, like, and that's the thing, whether it's any type of place of worship, it shouldn't happen to anyone, mm -hmm. right? But they're also, like you just mentioned, there is a highlight that needs to be highlighted that it happened to the Muslims and there isn't as much noise as there would be if it happened to any other group. Right. And that's the problem. In the Islamic laws, we condemn people attacking churches or synagogues or temples or obviously masajid and so on. Like We as Muslims don't believe that that's an acceptable thing. And we hope that Christians and Jews and others will 
also step up now to condemn this attack against a masjid and against innocent Muslims by an Israeli who was vocally saying, I'm Israeli, you know, calling out his Islamophobia while carrying out this hate crime, allegedly. Uh, uh, the footage is there, alhamdulillah. The man's been arrested, he's been charged, and we hope that this will bring attention. But one of the things I want to say, TIC, the Toronto Islamic Center, is in the center of Toronto, in a very expensive area, and alhamdulillah, they're, they're buying the masjid. It's a very big project, and they could definitely use your financial support as well. And as we see that they've been a target of hate crimes, but alhamdulillah, they've been a beacon of da'wah as well. So we're going to put a link for you to donate, even if you're Christian and Jewish, but to show your support against Islamophobia and against racism and prejudice, especially if you're Muslim, to support our brothers and sisters in Toronto so they can have a masjid in that central area, very visible area, and be a means of da'wah, inshallah. جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين